What's going on, everybody? Y'all know who it is, and if you don't know, now you're about to know. It's D Frank. I'm back again, and I'm coming at you with another review that you've probably seen a couple of other YouTubers do, but I'm giving you a little bit of, of more of my insight on it. So I'm bringing you today this review of these Arturo AZ850 tires. And I also got my Hellcat replica wheels up in the shot. And let's just take a minute to just look at how nice those damn things look to me, man. This is just something about it that just makes this car look even better. Man, it's just like just like getting those new pair of J's or whatever you, whatever shoes you like for the first time. Man, it's just like that shit. But y'all are. But anyways, we're gonna get back into this review um, today. You know these tires normally are pretty cheap, and you already know that damn saying of uh, you get what you pay for. But with these damn tires, man, for the cheap, affordable price that you get them for. It's kind of hard to believe that you can get a, that they worth the money that they hold up. So I'm bringing you some video footage of uh, some of the, uh, some of the driving I've done with it. Uh, comes from, you know, hugging some, some curves on back rough roads to a little bit of interstate driving to even some pretty high speed pulls. And with the high speed pulls part, if it ain't safe to do it, please don't do it. And even then, you shouldn't be doing it. But you already know that saying, do as I say and not as I do. But if you were to do that, and you get out there and get in a wreck, that's your own damn fault and get your ticket and all that. That ain't on me. Don't do that because I, because you see me do it in this video. But, um, yeah. And, and yes, a couple things about these tires that I haven't really seen many people mention about that I think I'll mention is like the tread wear weight, uh, tongue tie, tread wear rating, and um, let's say, and you know, the traction test, um, and also the speed rating. The speed rating on these is rated Y, and if you were to go Google a speed rating chart, you will see that Y is has been tested and rated for speeds up to 186 miles an hour, which is for most of us that get these damn tires, that's pretty damn fast and probably faster than any of us will ever drive for the most part. But I'm pretty sure a lot of us will be willing to test that. But once again, don't don't be, don't don't go out there and do that just because I I'm, I'm over here saying it and implying that we want to go do it. But um yeah, and um I will read some of the. I'll read the pretty much uh, the tread wear. Uh, the tread wear for these tires was rated at 320, and um, I'll read a little bit of what it's what a, a, a tread wear tread wear grade is, and then you can go over about it from there. And I'll probably leave a link to where I actually found out about it. And um, tread wear grades are based on actual road use in which the tire is run through a vehicle convoy and the test was did somewhere in west texas and uh it's prescribed a 400 mile test loop for a total of 7200 miles the vehicle can have its alignment set air pressure checked and tires rotated every 800. the test tires and the monitoring test tires uh where are measured during the conclusion of the test and the tire manufacturers then assign a tread wear grade based on the observed wear rates a grade of 100 would indicate that the tire tread will last as long as the test tires that they use. 200 would mean twice as long, 300, triple that amount, so on and so on. So, yeah, and with these rated at 320, it would last three times as long as that 7,200 miles. So, I say for like about 114, anywhere from 100 to about $120 a pop for a tire before shipping that's not too bad in my opinion and then the traction grade is based on the tires straight line wet coefficient of traction as the tire skids across a spe specified test surface and is determined by installing a properly inflated test tires on the instrumented axle of a skid trailer pulled behind a truck constant at uh, not 140 miles an hour over wet asphalt and wet concrete 
and its brakes uh, monetarily locked and yeah and before 1997 they assigned a grade of double a a b and c which is double a would be the best traction and these tires are rated at double a and once again touch back on um the subject of these being like affordable tires and but the, to me for to have that kind of rating that's not too bad but just because it's all on paper and specs that don't mean we have to see how they perform actually just get behind the wheel and put them to use so yeah and that's what i did and we will take a look at some of what uh, some of the driving i did with like I just did in this this part um, where um, I was making a turn and I was being a straight up dumbass at traction control in sport mode um, trying to make a turn on some damn ground. They can't when I did this shit. Don't do this. Cause your ass might lose control. Yeah.
and I'm back and um, I've tested these tires on a few different roads ranging from rough fucking raggedy almost to a degree pot field gravel field back roads and somewhere in God knows where that looks like it could be anywhere from West Arkansas to doggone and North Michigan uh, I tested them there and then uh, took it on the highway and then on a few smooth ideal roads that you would probably want to launch on as well and honestly for the price they they do a damn good job granted I've uh, included a clip I include a clip towards the end of you shouldn't be stupid like I did and um, turn off the uh, have the traction control turned off trying to go in gravel and hit it of course I got a little bit sideways I got a uh, footage of the tire spinning doing that nothing from inside but don't be stupid like that I wanted to test these in the rain but by the time I had some free time to shoot the rest of this video all the rain that went away and uh, I've, I have driven the tire, uh, this car in the rain with these tires a couple times but uh, I didn't have the camera with me for the most part it ha they handle a lot better than the stock 245 good years I had on on the scat pack wheels so um, honestly for the price to me for what it's worth these tires are are a bargain to me that to me they're a little bit undersold in all honesty and I even got some of my best 0 to 60 times because of those damn tires because uh, previously with those uh, good year with the 245 I the best I ever gotten in this car was a 4.7 and I messed around and got a 4.5 up in and I still have to practice launching this car and getting it to where I can get it off the line with little to no fishtail so I honestly think these tires have something to do with it and like Spike Lee used to say to MJ in those old commercials back in the day Mike money it's got to be the shoes it's got to be the shoes and that same logic can be applied to a degree when it comes to tires it's got to be the tires uh, t the tires do have a lot to do with the performance and enough of me rambling I'm through I'm through so you guys already know if you find this video useful share it comment tell me your experiences if you had these tires or shit uh, hell give me some damn advice or some suggestions for other tires hell I'm open to suggestions so long as it's damn something reasonable and you ain't trying to be a damn troll and shit. But um yeah, on the, until the next one, y'all man, y'all take y'all take it easy. I'm getting up out of here. I'm telling you y'all 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 can go, y'all. Y'all ain't got to go home, but y'all, now, matter, matter of fact, y'all gonna stay. Go watch some more videos of mine, shit. Because <laughs> it'll be rude to just tell me y'all to go, y'all to just, y'all ain't got to go home, but y'all get got to get the hell away from me. Go, go, go watch some more other videos, share them, shit.